Well, you know that pile of mini hotel toiletries you've acquired, or maybe that unwanted Christmas gift you've stuffed in the back of your closet? Well, if you want to make moving into a new place easier, our next guest says it's time to get rid of the old excess baggage. Lisa Soma with Organizing by Lisa is here to help us ease the clutter and take the stress out of our next move. I think that's the big thing, Lisa, is the stress part of it. The I mean, stress, the, the yes. idea that you're going to move and you've got years and years of collecting. I mean, is that the first thing you do with people is maybe it's like, okay, let's get to where your mental state is? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to be able to get rid of some of that stuff that's not going to fit into your new place? If you're moving into a larger space, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're downsizing or right sizing, you definitely probably have to get rid of some of that stuff. So you must have a psych psychology degree then, and how many sessions does it take <laughs> before it helps people? So. Everybody's different. So let's <laughs> let's get into the process of it. Is like so. I mean, there's there, there's steps that people should take and consider when you're doing this because it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be exciting, but yet it's just so painful when you stop and think about it. So how do you help people? Well, we go in and we discuss what's going to fit in the new place. And then to make it easier, I'll tell them to start with the junk drawer or to start with the sock drawer. Go to the bottom of the drawer, the back of the drawer. All that stuff is probably not being used anymore. That should be easy to get rid of. Um, Christmas decor. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. You know, people go shopping 90% off at Hobby Lobby after Christmas, yeah. and then it's just out of control. And these so. are some good ones I never thought of. Like, you know, how, can you fit the things in that you're taking, like furniture and and, and right. different things like that? So, I mean, how wh explain that process. Right. So we moved, actually, we downsized two years ago when our youngest graduated, um, and we went from a home to a townhome. So we went from square boxy rooms to more rectangular spaces, and our furniture wasn't going to fit the same in oh. the new place. So, yeah, getting in there, taking measurements, figuring out what's going to fit, and then how are you going to get rid of the stuff that isn't going to fit? Are you going to sell it online, marketplace, yeah. Craigslist, have an estate sale? So yep. let's talk about the selling or donating of things, how that, I mean, because there's, I mean, you have to think about that a little bit too. It's not just easy as I'm going to have a garage sale or I'm just going to do this. Right. Are you physically able to do that for yourself? Are your children going to come and help you with that? Um, are the places that you're looking to donate the stuff to, are you going to have to get it there yourself? Are they going to be able to come pick it up from you? So there's a lot of logistics that go into it before moving day. And then pack and talk about packing the items of where they're going to go. I mean, versus, right? You know, just like throwing everything in a box. Don't just throw everything in a box. Pack it according to which room it's going to go into at the new place, because the movers are going to have to take those boxes to those specific rooms. So, for instance, if you have um, an office in your current home and you're no longer going to have an office in your next home, where is all that stuff going to go? Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm, I, let's, let's get to the selling of the stuff because a lot of people look at, they might have antiques, they have things that are, uh, they're sentimentally attached to, but they know they've got to get rid of it. Right. And so they're either going to have a garage sale or maybe have somebody come in and, and, you know, or they want to sell some of these things that might have value. But let's talk about How the much value, value yeah, does that stuff it? really have? Yeah. Right. Um, you know, in the 70s, 80s, the big thing was collecting, collecting plates, collecting teacups, collecting bells, collecting anything and everything that they could market to you to buy. That stuff doesn't hold any value today. Nobody wants to decorate it with it. People are going to the minimalist type of um, decorating. They want to go to Target and buy something they can replace in two years when they switch colors in their home. So. Um, yeah, finding someone who's going to come and buy that. There are people out there who will come in and buy whole estates too. So there's just a lot of options yeah, out there. Yeah, and, and you know, I've I've even run across places that they'll come and just they'll look at the house and say these are the things that we don't need right. anymore, and they'll look at it and say we'll come in and we'll give you 500 bucks for it all and we'll take it out. Yep. And so there's places like that too. They're like, I just we did this with my mom. Yep. And I just went, this is an epiphany. I'm like, what a great little business. And then they put it in their junk store and they sell it. Yep. You know, yep. So yep. there's uh, so many different options. So let's get mm -hmm. to the, the packing part of it because, I mean, it's not right. just, let's just throw it into a box and go. Right. You've got to, what size boxes are you going to be able to, are you, are you going to purchase them? Are you going to call up Walmart the night before and say, hey, can you save me some boxes so yeah. that I can pack and move? Yeah. Um, you know, you got to get the paper, um, get your floor plan, get, yeah, get your boxes, get, get those donation items out of the house. 
um, collect supplies, you're going to need the packing tape, the bubble wrap, the paper, the labels, the markers. Um, you know, don't forget your cell phone, that kind of thing. Right. Um, a night before box with uh, medi your medications in them. Um, you Stuff know. you need to get to that you might have to That's, have. It. You can wait, you know, it's like right. maybe two days from our three days from our two weeks, I won't open that box. Yeah, it's like planning for a vacation for a few days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one there, there's one item that you said that we necessarily have to keep in mind of everything that you're going to do. Of what is everything. That? You do not want this, this on the last the box <laughs> that comes off the truck. You need your toilet paper. <laughs> so throw it in your car, in your purse, in your go to bag. You're going to want your toilet paper when you get to your new place. So let, let's talk about the people that are sitting there thinking about this. Like, you know, I, I love all my stuff. I want to keep all my stuff. I'm just going to rent a space and I'm just going to dump it in there. Big waste of money. And then guess what happens later on? Maybe you pass away. Then who has to deal with it? Your kids, those poor kids. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a headache for a lot of that, them. I think that's the biggest thing is the kids piece of it is because our kids don't want the stuff that we wanted, and that's hard. It is. To say that's like, so, so you know, honey, do you want this table that's mm -hmm. been in our family for 150 years? Yep. And what do you tell them? You know what? The secret is offer it to them. If they don't want it, just prepare yourself. Don't be sad about it. Say that's okay. Don't don't give them the guilt trip type thing. I, I don't yeah. want to do your job, but I, I found a way that I, I, we just dumped a bunch of stuff recently, a kid stuff that I had forever. I took pictures of everything before I threw it in the dumpster, mm -hmm. and now it's on my phone. And I see that stuff more on my phone now than I did in the 25 years it was in a box in my garage. Right. Take pictures of those collections. Have an eight by ten made and hang it on your new wall somewhere if that's what you need to do. <laughs> Can't think but of hey, all that junk you know. <laughs> <laughs> you may be the only one that likes looking at it, but yeah. <laughs> I do pull it out every night. Hey, Lisa, really good stuff, good information. Thanks for coming in today to share it with us. You so. bet.